welcome back ARC fans alike so today I'm gonna to do a video well, actually I'm gonna do three videos on all the announced unreleased dinos so I don't know if they're gonna announce more but currently there's 27 so I'll do 10 10 7 um, like I said they could announce more dinosaurs I don't know um, four of these dinosaurs are gonna be in the new release and I kind of already have talked about that before but let's just jump right into it also as I'm going through this I'm gonna just rate them on a scale of 1 to 5 on how excited I am for them to come out so first we got the Akatina um, as far as what it says here it makes it sound as if uh, it can passively make cementing paste now there's some other dinosaurs where it says something right here it says chemically similar to cementing paste so I don't know if that just means it is gonna be cementing paste or something different um, if you harvest it, like kill this, it looks like it provides a small amount of chitin or chitin and meat. So nothing too exciting. However, on a scale of one to five, I'd rate this a five because if this does produce cementing paste passively, this will be awesome. This will be like the dung beetle. I didn't think I was gonna be that excited, but the amount of fertilizer that a dung beetle produces makes them so freaking useful. So I'm gonna rate that one a five pretty excited that's in the uh, patch 251 be coming out and I'm gonna butcher these names and pronunciations so just forgive me there uh, next we got that ammonite now this one it says that all sea animals are gonna defend them so basically if you attack this underwater just expect everything to attack you um, they're gonna be in deep sea but you can harvest bile for powerful concoctions so you can harvest something from them that's gonna be used for potions basically and it says for um, curing poisons and illnesses so that's um, I'm gonna rate that like a one or a two well I'll just give it a two actually probably a one <laughs> just for the simple fact that underwater is already a bitch enough and if you guys this is basically an underwater landmine if you fuck with this guy everyone's gonna attack you so pretty cool though I'm excited for all these dinosaurs so I, I want them all to be included it's not that I wouldn't want them included um, third up we got the Baryonyx, Baryonyx. Um, this is going to be small, fast animal. Uh, almost exclusively eats fish and other water dwellers, and it says it has really fast healing. Now it is amphibious, uh, but for the most part, it sticks underwater. Pretty cool artwork. Um, oh, this just means water and land. So I'm excited for this one. All the carnivores I'm, I get pretty excited for. So I'm going to give that a 5 out of 5 for the Baronix. Not sure when he's going to be released, but it looks pretty cool. Fourth here, we got the Bacillosaurus. Now this one, um, once it's on the surface, it heals super fast. It says while in deep water, it actually gets hurt. Like it hurts it if it's underwater um, too deep says the other sea animals will follow it for scraps but when you try to take the scraps from this these whoever's following it let's say like stingrays or sharks uh, will instantly attack you if you take their scraps um, it says you can turn its blubber into gasoline and then while you're riding it whether it's cold or hot it will insulate you so it's almost like you're riding a fridge um, simply because the blubber is going to be refined into a far more efficient form of gasoline what it says here at the end. I would give this like a 3 out of 5. Just like that thing, it said similar to cementing paste. This is far more efficient form of gasoline. So I don't know if these are going to be completely new resources that are added. I, I kind of hope so, but we'll see. Might just end up being gasoline that comes out of it. Um, fifth off, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this. We got Cynadera, Daria. Um, it says its sting is a very powerful sedate, uh, sedative. It's not tameable, but can harvest for that powerful sedative. So this, it says it's barely smarter than a plant, but it's just going to kind of float underwater. If you get close to it, it's going to sting you. But apparently uh, you can harvest some sort of sedative from it and make it into tranquilizers. So that's going to be sweet. Yeah. So that, I don't know, I would give that another 3 out of 5. Not too excited, but it's nice that it gives you some. It's got some sort of purpose. I guess all the dinos will have purpose here. I already kind of covered this when I was talking about patch 251, but here's the Deodon. Uh, 
basically a giant a wild boar. Um, very temperamental, fast healing, fast eater. Very has a fast metabolism, so it heals really fast, but it also says it's going to eat you out of house and home, so you'd really have to fill those troughs up. It says hard to train due to its high metabolism. And then it also has the heals nearby allies. So that's what this sentence to me says. However, is that this rapid regeneration is evidently able to affect nearby allies and consequently worth the upkeep. So it makes it sound as if it's going to be able to hear, heal other dinos if you just put it in the pen or nearby them. And it's a pack animal, kind of like a wolf. So That one... I'd give that one possibly like a 4 out of 5. It just seems like it might be a cool combat mount to have or something to roll with you. Next up here we've got the Electrophorus. Electrophorus. Um, electricity knocks you unconscious. It's not actually an eel. It says it's a type of swordfish. Or knife fish, excuse me. Um, it is tameable. Main use of it here apparently is to knock out other ocean dwellers. So it's saying, you know, it might be hard to tame like a plesiosaurus or something else, but um, if you use this, you could knock it out and help it to tame. And here's a pretty sweet picture of it attacking a shark in a group. So that's pretty cool. Definitely scary looking. Um, not too excited about this thing. I'm sure this is going to scare the shit out of me if I ever come across it in the water. I would give this a 2 out of 5. I'm not huge into taming underwater mounts. Once they have the underwater bases, I'll probably get into it a little bit more. But that'll come with a tech tier. Next up, we've got the giant bee. So, I, I took a little note so I at least knew what these things do a little bit. So Giant Bee um, says they don't stray away from their nest too far. Their nests are always going to be in the redwood forest. The generic giant, giant Bee I don't think is tameable, but you can tame the Queen Bee, which I think once you tame the Queen Bee then you'll have like tamed um, like soldier bees or generic bees. Uh, you can harvest honeycomb from from the tamed you know queen or whatever once it builds a nest, but you have to have some sort of special beekeeping gear, so that's pretty cool. And then it just says that since their stinger is not barbed, they can sting you multiple times without dying. So that I would get like a 2 out of 5. Not too excited about. I'm sure honey will just be a, a really good food. Really good food or possibly used for like potions or something. So not too excited about that one. Next up, we got the Hesperonis. I'm going to only try that once. Um, this is kind of a, let's see, it says half duck, half dinosaur. So it's going to be a small little dino, possibly similar to the Pelagornis, but just smaller. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen, like, Planet Earth, those birds that shoot down underneath the water and grab fish, but that's kind of looks like a relative of that. Um, says used for harvesting small fish really fast, glides on the top of the water. Main thing here, though, is it produces a special a special egg that, um, if you do it right, apparently can split into a high protein for ingestion. I think just like for food, and then also an oil type substance. See, and it says that is effectively the same as oil found in the ocean. So I don't know if it will just be oil or if it's going to be its own unique resource, kind of like those other dinos. Because they say similar or kind of like, and I don't know. Fucking computers give me trouble here. I don't know if that means it just is going to be what it is there. So that, the Hesperonis, I'm going to give that a 2 out of 5. Not too excited about that. Just another pass, another way to get oil. Um, last off here, we've got the Hyenodon. Or Hyenodon. Um, so this is going to, you're going to find this in packs of 3 to 5. It's tameable, but not rideable. And it gets the pack bonus here. Um, it says that it's very intelligent and it calculates the risk if it wants to attack or not. So if you're wounded or if you're around dead carcasses, then it'll attack you. So it's kind of, you know, very smart. Going to wait till you're wounded or till you've just perhaps killed a dinosaur and there's a carcass on the ground, and then it'll attack you. 
And then here it's talking about how they're excellent for hunting packs and that um, a common sight is going to be someone riding a dire wolf with a bunch of mini hyenodons on there. And that really excites me because I love dire wolves and to have a pack of hyenas following you is going to be pretty sweet. So that I'm going to give a 5 out of 10. So right there, that was the first 10 announced unreleased dino dossiers. Um, I will be doing another video on the next 10 and on the last 7 here. Like I said, I don't know if they're going to actually release more, um, like announce more or not, but uh, leave a question, comments. Of course, you can see all this information at Wiki, uh, Arc Wiki. I just figured I'd spoon feed it to you guys. But let me know what dinosaur you're excited for.